Thoracic Molding Limited is a Kenyan-based company managed by expatriates and highly innovative local management and is renowned for its artistic approach to interior decoration founded in 1991. Uh, my name is Moshe Neumann and uh, I am the director of Classic Moldings. Uh, we are dealing with interiors all over East Africa and we are trying to contribute to, to uh, bring new ideas in the field of interior decoration, interior design and decoration. We are working with many interior designers, there are excellent interior designers in Kenya and uh, other neighboring countries and we want to be an excellent tool in the implementation of uh, interiors. Uh, we are in business for about 15 years, but we developed very slowly. We started with moldings, and that's why the name Classic Moldings is uh, the company name. But slowly, slowly, we added more and more products uh, to the company. So today we uh, accomplish, I can say we have accomplished full interiors in, in most areas of interiors. Classic Moldings has developed to become one of the premier providers of high-class interior decoration work, right from the initial construction and concept development through the final construction, their projects combine the latest in technology with the traditional values of craftsmanship and quality. Their exclusive technical innovations as well as creative and dramatic design transform every home, office or environment into a unique and beautiful world of its own. Classic Moldings objectives are to provide the full interior design scheme at large scale or small scale for homes, offices, banks, restaurants, hotels, anything generally that has an interior. An interior. We have gone into attics now and a bit of exterior, but hopefully in the future we will do the whole scheme, both interior and exterior. We at Classic Moldings uh, we venture, we always venture into, into new products. We, we can proudly say that we have introduced many, many new products in this country. Like the gypsum, we were the first ones. All these wall finishes, we are the first people to introduce them, the moldings. And now, attics, this is, this is first in Kenya. Lose your imagination, Lose your imagination. imagination. Classic Moulding provides the highest standards of interior construction works and high-class finishes. We are a company uh, dealing with interiors. We provide today full-scale interiors to the market, to the East African market, mainly Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, uh, Rwanda. The pyramids is one of the largest jobs. There was a very high input on uh, the uh, Pyramids Casino in Kampala. It's a job we are very, very proud. We have done a fantastic job uh, of one of the finest, I think the finest pub in uh, East and Central Africa, which is Mercury. We have done hotel lobbies and uh, um, we are very proud that we, we have done, we touched every area, every possible area in interiors. The main areas are fine interior wall and ceilings, 
architectural moldings, decorative artistic wall pastes that is terra, tadlock, stucco, spatula, antico and others. Today, gypsum dryboard is a major feature of construction in the modern world because of its strength, modularity, easy assembly and smooth finish, the use of gypsum dryboard especially for internal walls and ceilings has become popular in the building of private housing offices, hotels, public buildings, schools, factories, hospitals and shopping malls. Advantages of gypsum dryboard are excellent sound insulation, high fire resistance and thermal insulation, water resistance, adaptability to meet special construction needs, earthquake security, economical and low weight construction, crack resistant construction, papering or tiling and others. Um, well here we have an example of a, 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 a texture that we call it drugged and um, a, in this case, it's quite an aggressive color, but very, very spicy, very romantic. Um, we can engrave in on the second layer and expose the first layer. And that's one of the techniques we are providing. So the same material can provide many techniques. Uh, we work with uh, Belgian companies, Orac Deco, NMC, in two parts of Belgium. We are working with uh, Israel, with the provider of these materials, the ones that, uh, the texture that is behind me. So this plaster, for example, is from Nadir. We get a, a fantastic range of products from them. Uh, they give us a lot of backup, backup support. We know the real technicality of the material. This is the sample room, uh, samples room, where we lay all the types of materials uh, that we have, uh, wall coverings. Uh, for example, here I have a book of uh, posh wall covering, and it is called um, Silver and Gold. New style of wall covering, unlike wallpaper that is made of paper, this is made out of a non-woven baked fabric. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing uh, collection. Here I will pull another example of naturals, natural materials like weaves, a cane, natural bamboos, um, and uh, we are able to give any ambience we want to give a room. If it's cool, uh, spicy, romantic, or anything like that. Architectural mouldings provide elegance and beauty within today's technical perfection. The large collection of mouldings offer a full range of various decorative products inspired by popular historical and classical designs. Here we have the, one of our new products, uh, it's a uh, attic leather or loft leather, an incredible new innovation here in Kenya, whereby you have a safe climbing to your attic, you have a handrail, uh, which helps you support yourself, it can carry a large weight, and the most important, it comes together with a hatch door that um, uh, you close when you finish your business up there in the attic. And uh, it's uh, the excellent solution for ethics, for law. 
I think that every good interior designer, any architect or interior designer, is, it's, it's involves passion. And in our case, it's passion, spirituality, a, a constant need to have more and more and to conquer new fields, innovate all the time. In fact, restlessness in the arts of interiors. So far, classic moldings have served many high-profile clients in East Africa. To the Express Counter and this week we're all about ethics in advertising. Here we go. People in advertising spend a lot of their time dealing with ethical choices and those choices are almost never black and white and that's the furthest we can go for now. Unfortunately, we'll have to digress on that topic. We sought to take a look at the advertiser's playground. This week, we just sneaked in our cameras at Red Sky offices that speak of nothing less than creativity. People like the idea of an artistic creative career but a life as an artist may seem too well unrealistic or financially risky anyway in advertising advertisers just like artists can legitimately stimulate anything to illustrate the truth time you walk into these lavishly decorated boardrooms and creative spaces, that's when we appreciate that ads for reputable companies almost never lie. Now what we pick apart from the mood lighting and hanging ceilings carved for that creative mind, I also learned that the interior designer had the aim of enhancing the function and quality of interior spaces with emphasis on the improvement or the quality of life, increased productivity and concern for the health, safety and welfare of the public. From a distance, the hand-woven fabric on the walls and carved walls, molded and finished with a rough touch, communicates the possibilities an artist can explore in order to function effectively with the ability to find creative solutions to visual situations that are aesthetically pleasing as well as technical and functionally accommodating. In other words, what comes out of these offices, so I learn, better be creative. I'm sure the colors and pets around this space doesn't deflate the powers of persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> 